So round they come, Raffaele Marcello on the pit wall side and on the other side, Mauro Engel. It's black Mercedes against white Mercedes as they blast off towards the first corner. And in third place, it's Dries Van Tor. Looks tight, looks like grid order. Yeah, Gazou Gunion on the high side. And fourth place is not gaining positions. He's got attacking two, one, two, three, four positions. And we've got the spinner, it's the Ronaldo racing for our adventure. Evil. Or is it the 52 car? Let's have a quick look, let's have a double check. It's actually the Rinaldi racing car number 33. So round it went on, ben on Benja Itez into the gravel, exiting Paddock Hill Bend. So hopefully that car's going to come out of the gravel now. Dries Van Ford trying to move, can move off the inside. And Hyuga and Nogu Sabes, as I thought, might have been doing a brilliant job. Goes way, way riding over the curb and all over the grass and loses any gain. And what's going on up here side by side? The what? Porsche side slams out in both cars. Some minor damage, but the Audi clearly was too dark, maybe the edge of the gravel. Well, as tidy as the first start was, the second one really rather was rather messy. The lead cars got through Paddock Hill Bend, and then there was that rotation for the 33 Ferrari. Disappointment for, we talked about uh, the Barwell or Lamborghini, that lost ground for Enrique Chavez, the grassy nose at Grand Hill Bend, and then Miles Bachelor getting it wrong, unfortunately, by the looks of things, into Surtees, two cars running wide. No problems at all for Raffaele Marcello, though. Down the inside comes the Lamborghini, absolutely committed and contact and spins around. Which of the Mercedes is that? Well, that's, that's the Ram racing, racing car. It's Adam Chris Duda, who was minding his own business to, to my line there. The Bernoulli racing car did rejoin. That's good to see. That's at the back of the pack. But four incidents at four different corners on the opening that That is very, very unusual for these drivers. So the idea will pull off as the, the entry into pit lane, the safety car. And now the race is in the control of Raffaele Marcello. He's backing everybody up. Backing up, backing up, backing up, keep it backed up. Then now nail it back. There we go, he's off and running. But I think Maro Engel was wise to that manage the Green flag, go green the flag. Pace. The one I want to look at, who almost made the best restart, is Jules Gunion in fourth place. Can he get close enough on the run past the pits to make a move on third place? Trees Van Tor, Van Tor, very, very twitchy. He gets a little bit of retardation as they approach Paddock Hill Bend. Getting there, it is round the outside. That was the Ferrari returning to the circuit, and Chavez got completely wrong footed buy that and he'll be not very happy indeed in thinking that the Ferrari maybe could have been more cooperative. Up the inside goes Charles Fitz. Is he going to make the move stick on the number six Mercedes? Wow, that unexpected. Yeah, I would have thought that Lucas Stoltz might have been that little bit quicker, but Charles Fitz on it immediately on that fresh set of tyres on the 32 ID. Lights are flashing, we're coming, we're coming through. Now, Louis Lu Michels has done the right thing. He stayed over to the hard left of the circuit. Well done. Hasn't impeded the battle, hasn't cost anyone. May have to turn into Hawthorne at some point, but he will. But the third place car, Charles is through as well. So, no disruption. No, and that was good driving from Louis Michels. He let those, this leading battle get through. And you, you see that type of cooperation on a, on a tight racetrack like Brands Hatch. And we didn't see that happening this morning where we had the incident just as we come through. Dingledale into Sheen Curve. His car is running in fourth place. Petrol Borescu at the wheel. Not being pushed too hard, but Yusuf Mahaka actually, as I say that, has started to catch. But the first three, nigh on nose to tail. But onto the final lap we go. It looks though Timo Bogoslajski will go to win. He can keep this time around. Of course, he and his teammate uh, Raffaele Marcello won the first race, but they were given a 40 second time penalty for the clash with Ollie Wilkinson's Jota Sport McLaren at the very point we were just discussing at Dingledale, the drop down from Westfield. And now, even though Lucas Stoltz has got a whole a lot closer as they run over the curbing at Graham Hill Bend back onto the black stuff. Who's going to get the power down better as they accelerate away from Surti? Certainly, it will be watched by Charles Vietz. We're looking at him in his cockpit. Dries Van Tor scratching his head, but I think he's starting to relax because certainly there's going to be no challenge from behind. 13 and a half second advantage, but we've got a change for the lead because a poor exit from Surti. So much momentum was lost that Timo Bogoslajski is backed out of it and he's allowed Charles Vietz. Not Charles? Or Charles Vietz is going around the outside. Has there know. been contact? Is there a puncture? He certainly looked quite slow going into Surtees. Yes, he's got a puncture because he's weaving around the, and the performance of that wow. car is dropping off. So suddenly, victory is going to go to uh, Stoltz and Bogoslajski. It's just not. And, Char and E. Vietz doesn't dare look on. But now his son Charles is up into second place overall. And Bogoslajski through the gravel on the exit of Sterlings. Will he even get to the line in third place? So champion definitely now in the hands of Charvitz and the driver watching from the pit garage Dries Van Tor but over the finish line 0, zero 1 a rotten run for Top Sport WRT comes to an end with victory and that final lap so so dramatic second place and the title to Charvitz you can almost sense the smile and the relief on his eyes and there's Dries Van Tor another title in the bag two years running in the sprint was that a, there I think it's a right front puncture because the car went very very wide he's pulled in now so there's bits of the rubber look rolling across the road. 
Is that a rim or is that a bit of rubber? I think it might be even the rim. No, it's the rim, but one, one, one feels, so it's don't, just come off. Don't and get out of your car. Stay in the car. A victory in the prime class. Looks as though it's going to go to the team that have had it in both hands since the, the start of this race. It's going to be 21st position overall. But victory in Pro-Am to the number 77 Barwell Motorsport crew. Enrique Chavez very, very busy in the start of the race. And Miguel Ramos bringing that home. So a great result for them on home ground for Mark Lemmer and the guys. And Alexander West took second in class. But Pierre Dudonne congratulating his champion for the second year running in the Sprint Cup, Dries Van Tor, more plaudits down at WRT. Dries, congratulations, you are a champion once again. Uh, yeah, I have something to think in, it's a bit, uh, it's cool, I mean, uh, I don't really know what to say, it's a bit emotional, uh, I'm so happy to be part of this team and to be part of Audi, to be always giving us a good car to fight and it's a big thanks to them as well and yeah, to my parents and everybody who supported me. Incredible teamwork from you guys and from the team. Go celebrate, go on, off you go. Well, we've heard from Dries Van Tour, and it's only fair to interview his co-champion, his teammate, his pal, Charles Charles, if we could just get you to pop the mask on. Congratulations, an absolutely outstanding drive from both of you, and great work from the team. <laughs> well, well, that was quite an eventful, uh, actually not for you, but for me it was a uh, race. Uh, it was just about taking zero risk and uh, trying to secure the, the podium and uh, maximum points, which we did. Uh, I don't know what happened to the uh, 88 at the end. It's a bit of a shame for him because they had the race under control, but nevertheless we are, we are P2 and uh, mathematically uh, we are out of reach. So. It's, uh, yeah, it's a great day for us and uh, I'm extre extremely happy and uh, it's a, I think it's a good occasion to, to thank everybody at WRT, uh, my teammates, my father and everybody that support us for this amazing season, which is not yet finished, but uh, yeah, it's already done. Well done, fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, a victory, well deserved, but slightly unexpected perhaps with the 88 dropping away at the end. Yeah, I mean, uh, commiserations to, to those guys. I mean, uh, we know exactly what it's like. We've, uh, we've had a tough year, um, quite a bit of bad luck our way. So obviously it feels good to, to have some good luck like this come our way. But um, yeah, tough break for these guys. I think uh, they had it in the bag pretty much. But just uh, super happy, awesome drive by, by Luca and great job by the team. Um, congrats to WRT, obviously uh, they smashed it this year. And victory at last after a torrid season for Top Sport WRT. And tomorrow, Engel and Lucas Stoltz, who pushed so hard in the second half of the race. And at the end, it was a 1.9 seconds to good. Charles is able to back off and celebrate not just second place, but more importantly, a second Sprint Cup championship in successive years. Shared with Dries Van Tour, Jules and Petru Umbarescu getting at least one ACA ASP. Mercedes on to the t into the top three when the sister car, Timo Bogosleski and Raffaele Marcello, their car ended up with a punch. In fact, with the, the wheel rim coming off, but finishing in sixth place. So after the national anthem, the champagne and the mechanic, very, very, or team represented, very, very happy we've got a cap on, just keeping that out of the eyes. It really does sting. So champagne for the silk time for the Silver Cup runners, Viz and Miguel Ramos. One started, one finished. Second place to Alexander West and Johnny Adam on home ground for the Aston Martin Team Garage 59. And third place to SMPS Automotive. That's uh, Dominic Bauman and Valentin Pierberg.